Welcome to the Really Real Show, Season 3, Episode 4. I'm your man John. My man Wes is booming. Really not doing much, but first things first. Stop, Wes, stop me if you heard this before, man. Brand new co-host. Brand new and improved. More improved than our previous co-hostesses. You know what I'm saying? She already on two episodes done did more than I did in two seasons. But I ain't, I ain't going there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going there. Natalie Enjoy Johnson. Officially to the show, entertainment guru. Natalie, let us know what you got for the show. Hey guys, I'm so excited to finally be a part of the Really Real Show officially. I'm your entertainment guru, and today we have some Kim K news. Yeah, and buddy. also some reality TV show premiere news. Yes, buddy, Real Housewives of Edgewood. Kim K got a new tape coming out. Oh, okay, that's, that's just what I hope the news was all about. But hey, I'm gonna hit you with your sports news, man. Also got DJ A1 Thank coming you. through. He walked through the door, man, you know what I'm saying? Gave him a little dab, his diamonds was looking at me. I was like, it was looking at my little chain. I took mine off, eventually just threw it away, forgot I ever had it, you know what I'm saying? I was looking for my receipt so I could take it back, but couldn't never find it. Anyway, man, this is the Really Real Show. We'll be right back. Peace. Welcome to Channel 6 Animal Action News. Today's headline story. Cute cats are out of work everywhere because of a 600% drop off in cute cat dancing videos on YouTube. Lonely white women, get back on your jobs. In other news, this dog, Fifi, was fired from his job for posting this pic on Facebook. In other canine news, UGA mascot, Ugga, has just gone on strike, citing poor travel conditions and ugly mates that won't bend over. Finally, Oregon Ducks mascot Puddles just got fired because it was discovered he couldn't swim. Oregon's in contract talks with the Affleck Duck right now. Thanks for watching. Channel 6 Animal Action News. Staying ahead of the pack. I'm the DJ A1. Famous DJ, celebrity DJ, your DJ, your DJ's favorite DJ. Um, I've been DJing now since I was 12, 13. So a long damn time, I really can retire in the game. Um, yeah, that's me in a nutshell. I've worked with Keisha Cole, Will Scrappy Trivial, Lil John, Janet Jackson, Amarion. The list goes on. Uh, Monica, Jovan Days, uh, official singles to a DJ, uh, DJ drum, everybody, man. You know. The list goes on and on. I've done a lot. How did I get my start as a DJ? Uh, funny, when I was like 12, my sister had a party turning 13. It was like a real live house party. Um, and I saw the guy DJ and I wanted to do it. So I went and told my grandma the next day. She bought everything I needed. And I became DJ A1. Literally, overnight. I, well, overnight I got everything I needed. But I didn't become a you know a real live DJ until about three four years later. What I got going on right now? Um, number one internet show, Candy Cody Nights with Candy Burris and Nikki Nicole. I'm currently on the road with Lil Scrappy, Candy. I'm doing both of them and Rashida. She's back on the road working now. Uh, Rashida from Love and Hip Hop ATL. Uh, uh, my brand, Famous Shit. I do YouTube videos, I upload mixes, the 20 minute workout, so you know, you can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Vine, I'm on everything. I give them one, one tip, be yourself. Don't be anything, uh, go by any formula, uh, get with any DJ crew and try to follow what they got going on. Be you, come in the game how you are, and you'll leave the same way. Build the mold, don't go by one. Hey guys, you're watching The Really Real Show. I'm your entertainment guru, Natalie Enjoy Johnson. Ooh, on the TLC tip, 4.5 million viewers tuned in to VH1's biopic, Crazy Sexy Cool. And since it's so good, people have been watching it again and again and again. Now think Five Heartbeats, The Temptations, and What's Love Got To Do With It. Hey, I'm digging it. This is VH1's first biopic since MJ 10 years ago. 
and I do again, says Kim. Kanye West proposed to his baby mama Kim Kardashian over the weekend and surprised her with a 15 karat diamond ring. Wow! Now Chris Jenner says that this is a match made in heaven. Go figure. This will be Kim's third marriage. And reality TV showdown. I'm so excited about this. VH1's Love and Hip Hop New York premieres on Monday at 8 p.m. and it's promised to be filled with so much drama. It's going to actually compete with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta this year. Can't wait to see that. And Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta premieres on November the 3rd. Now this season, these ladies are not gonna be together. They're actually gonna be divided. So that's gonna be drama field, action field, and I just can't wait. Now for more stories like this and more, make sure you log on to enjoyjohnson.com. I'm your entertainment guru, Natalie Enjoy Johnson. John's up for sports. I'm your man, John. Right now, you're watching The Really Real Show. This is my favorite segment of the show, the sports segment. I'm going to run through them real quick because I got a topic I want to hit, man. I need a little time for it. Falcons got a W over the Bucks. Two and four. Headed for the playoffs. We're trying, anyway. <laughs> Fighting for our lives, really. Steven Jackson coming back from his fake injury. We'll touch on that in a minute. Well, it might not have been fake, but what happened to him? No, I don't know. Leg, thigh, knee, head, dreads. Who knows? I don't know what was hurt. You know, maybe his feelings. We beat the Rams. <laughs> maybe his feelings was hurt. Uh, basketball starting next week, October the 30th. Derrick Rose is back. Nah, I don't fool with Derrick Rose. LeBron is still back, I guess, or still here or never left. World Series, Red Sox, Cardinals. I, I guess I'm taking the Red Sox. They already up one to zip. I don't really care who wins. I'm just glad the Tigers and the Dodgers lost for personal reasons. I won't get into that. Uh, moving on, let's say hockey, hockey, hockey. What y'all doing? What? I got all people cheering for the LeBron and football. Hockey back. Well, BCS standings is out, man. Alabama, FSU, Oregon, Ohio State. Eh, I forget the 15. Who cares? Uh, we'll wait till the playoff next season before I really start paying attention. Um, UGA lost again. That ain't, that ain't much to talk about. Uh, the, yeah, Bulldog, he pissed off the mascot. He mad. You know? But um, topic I want to get into, man, is the new age of athletes. These athletes is business minded. Even the ones who are not so bright nowadays, you know what I'm saying? You watch Darryl interview from about three, four years ago, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, these athletes is business minded. If they got a hundred million dollar contract and they hurt themselves, Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, Rock Gronkowski, for example, they not playing. They not gonna come out there and risk their career for the team anymore. Like that old concussion, oh, I got three concussions in one game, I still came out there and played. Now, now I'm 40 years old and can't walk. It's not happening. Owners, GMs, man coaches, managers, they better get with it. These athletes is not having it. They're going to sit down until they completely healthy. Derrick Rose set out the whole playoffs last year and was practicing with the team. You, you got to see what I'm talking about. Full speed practice. Full speed, full contact practice and set out the whole playoffs. Didn't even give it a try. So, Rob Gronkowski sat out. He, he, so his family and him came to a resolution like, all right, now you good to play. You know what I'm saying? So better get with it, man. These athletes ain't playing. Brett Favre got a call to come back. So do you like it or not like it? I love it. I love it. Self-preservation is the number one rule of life, man. Not go play a team sport. Self-preservation is the number one rule of life. That's what they following, man. Uh, what we moving on to, man? Natalie, come over here and join me, man. Sports segment is over. Hockey. We appreciate Natalie. We appreciate Natalie and Joy Johnson for being a true co-host. You call her on the phone, she like, hey, what's up? What when we shooting? You know what I'm saying? West be like, right now, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we like, she come through, she don't just be posting Facebook texts like if the really real show. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm just kidding. That ain't sad. It still got canned though. You know, it's canning season. Y'all know, I hope y'all know what that means. That means ends is getting fired. That's what that means. Canning season is when it starts getting cold. People don't want to go to work. Oh, the bed feels so good. I don't want to get up and go to work. It's too cold. Can. <laughs> That's how that works, man. Wes, what, what else we got, man? DJ A1 came through, of course, man. Show love. Who, who set that up? I'm still jealous of them who diamonds. Up, who set up the A1? Our new co host. I mean, what can you say? She comes prepared. What can you say? Talk about. She's in it. She's in the business. Got outfits. Oh she brought dinner. 
She, she brought dinner. She was thinking about bringing dinner anyway. It's the thought that counts. That's what I'm saying. It's the thought that counts, man. You know what I'm saying? We go. We gonna get one out of it next time. Hey. So, hey. Real show Fridays. Like really real show Fridays, man. From the beginning, we drop every other every other Friday, Friday man. Friday. Twitter, Facebook, really real show on Facebook. Scorpion Fish Product Tons. Scorpion Fish Productions on YouTube. You can check out our channel, man. We got three seasons of episodes for y'all to watch, man. Two whole seasons. We on the third season. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Funny, stupid, funny, stupid, dope. Stupid good guests, man. Shout out to all my folks, man. My beautiful wife, man. My beautiful baby. All my brothers, man. I ain't finna go through all y'all names, man. God. There's so many of y'all. I ain't finna go through all y'all names, man. Wesley, T, uh, BC, Corey, OC, man. Marquise. Marquise, man. My, my, my big brother, Lil Marco. My birthday coming up. It is Scorpio season, man. I heard somebody say that. Niggas go, Scorpio season. I'm like, man, these. These Scorpios some fools, man. Uh, they be yelling out the window. Man, yeah. Uh, I be like, what's wrong with these people, man? Uh, oh, we got, a, we got a special show coming up in November. We are taking the really real show on, on the, the road. road. Yes. On the road. Really real show. Hey, we trying to do it big, man. Y'all show love. We going to show love. We love Atlanta, man. Edgewood, Candler Road. This ain't no 3-5. Platform Studios. Show love, man. We showing it back. Hey, this has been the really real show. I'm your man, John. I'm Enjoy Johnson. My man, Wes, is behind the camera. That's it, man. Peace. I'm the ones who died in me. Now I make them shout this screen. Killing out these niggas. Amen. Fatality. I'm the ones who died in me. Now I make them shout this screen. Killing out these niggas. They say the the dang, he was lying, so why you follow me? I couldn't bag that bitch, but now that same bitch bag that swallow me. Sticking to the plan, go hand in hand, check with my policy. I'm funny with my music, gotta be right, I'm big on quality. Don't said the won't come from since I was born, that's my biography. Jugging on that side, I got that loud and do photography, so get a nigga straight. Slick horizontally, the C O M P A N Y I'm CEO the company. Working for my dollars, I done ate that plate in front of me. Now niggas looking at us on the top, that's where they wanna be. Killing all these people. Ain't nobody fuck with me, man. I'm a deadly animal when you are just a wallaby. I'm the ones who died in me. Now I make them shout and scream. Killing all these niggas. Fatality. I'm the ones who died in me. Now I make them shout and scream. Killing all these niggas. Fatality.